The Southern Poverty Law Centre have listed Majid Nawaz as an anti-Muslim extremist. In 2016, the organisation claimed that Majid Nawaz calls for an outright ban on the niqab. Take a look at the article they cited. Majid Nawaz clearly states, I do not believe in a blanket ban on the niqab. Listen to him here. So what I think is also thoroughly un-British is UKIP's decision to call for a ban of an un-British practice. It is also thoroughly un-British to ban things that we disagree with unless they are violent. This has since been hidden from their website, and it appears that the SPLC are reverse engineering their justifications to keep Majid Nawaz on their list. This year, and in 2012, two supporters of the SPLC took up arms. One of these attackers was influenced by their own hate map. People's lives are being put at risk due to the SPLC's poor research and a careless attitude towards honesty. Support Majid Nawaz's crowdfund to take legal action against the Southern Poverty Law Centre at majidnawaz.com. Thank you. The Southern Poverty Law Centre have listed Majid Nawaz as an anti-Muslim extremist. In 2016, the SPLC justified listing him because he visited a strip club for his bachelor party. But how does this relate to being an anti-Muslim extremist? The SPLC here are acting like religious police, questioning what a Muslim is allowed to do. Significantly, the pro-Islamist Muslim owner of the strip club who leaked the story to the press said on Facebook prior to the leak that he wanted to punish Majid for being an atheist. These are the kinds of sources that the SPLC value. Look at the SPLC's website today. This reason has now been hidden, but the accusation of extremism still remains. The Southern Poverty Law Centre have listed Majid Nawaz as an anti-Muslim extremist. However, their reasons appear to keep changing. New reasons have been added to their website since the original claim. Let's take a look. Here, Majid is listed for someone else's words concerning spying on Muslims whilst the original alleged offender is not even listed. Read Quidium's press release put out by Majid from the same time period where Quidium took an official stand against spying. Confusingly, the SPLC's website also includes a direct quote from Majid himself opposing spying on Muslims. So why is he listed? Recently, the SPLC's intelligence project director had this to say. Let me just give you an example of Majid Nawaz's problem with him. He believes that all mosques should be surveilled. In other words, his opinion is, is that all Muslims are potential terrorists. Now listen to what Majid actually thinks. With this law that you've just introduced, the most wide-ranging, the most extreme levels of surveillance in the history of any democracy has just been legalized. I am appalled that this law has come into force. I think George Orwell would be turning in his grave to name and shame the Islamist ideology. Without, being able, without us being able to do so, we will be unable to isolate extremists from mainstream Muslim uh, communities. We'll also be depriving reforming liberal Muslims f uh, with, from a lexicon that they require to isolate themselves from these extremists. Islamist extremism is very different to Islamic.